So I'm gonna give you the exact email template for landing a lead generation client. Are you ready for this? Here is the template. What is going on guys? Paul James here. Welcome back to another video. Today we've got a really exciting topic and that is how to get your first lead generation client. So if you're someone who never had a client before, you're looking to get started in lead generation, this video is going to be your one-stop shop to get that done so that you can finally go out there and get a client. Now you're not gonna wanna miss anything in this video because within this video, I'm going to give you the exact script that you can use to land your very own clients. Okay, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to send, the exact email and everything. And I'll also show you some ways to automate this as well. Now, one of the biggest roadblocks that I see people having is they're commenting on the videos here when I do lead generation tutorials and they're saying, Paul, teach me how to get a client because I wanna get started with lead generation. And in fact, that's not really how lead generation works. In fact, it's kind of just the opposite. In fact, you actually get started with lead generation first, putting in the work and building out a website similar to this website right here before you actually go out and get a client. Now I'm gonna explain why. So the big misconception here is that you need a client before you can get started. And that may be because you're used to the client SEO model. The client SEO model is quite different. With that model, you actually do need a client first, right? You're gonna go, you're gonna prospect, you're gonna find someone who needs more business, who wants to rank on the first page of Google. You're gonna pitch them your whole routine and say, hey, I'll get you on the first page of Google. And then they're going to pay you for doing that for them. Now, this is the key difference. With that model, they are entrusting that you know what you're doing and you have to convince them and sell them that you know what you're doing. But with lead generation, things get really interesting because you already have a site like this one that's completely done and is already generating leads. And what that means is that you're gonna have leads already coming in that you can just give to them, okay? You can give them instant results. Now I call this instant credibility because you're quite literally proving yourself credible from the start. So that means that you can get started from zero without ever having a client before and build a site like this one, which doesn't take too much time, okay? A site just like this, you could get done, you could get built out you know, within like a week, probably even a day if you're ambitious and you could have leads coming in ready to sell. Now a site like this, I would charge $50 per lead that comes in. And what I mean by that is someone fills out the form or they call the phone number, that is a lead. That's what I get paid for. It doesn't matter whether they convert the customer or not, that is up to them. That is up to the, the company I'm selling the leads to. Because if I was going to charge them only for jobs that they actually got, I would want a lot more than $50. Because think about it, a roof replacement's gonna run anywhere from 15 to $20,000. So $50 wouldn't be fair if I was only getting paid when they're getting paid, right? I would charge a lot, lot more for that. Okay, so lead generation is great because there's a lot of benefits to it. Number one, it's a lot easier to sell. But number two, you own the asset. This is like real estate for you. Like no one can ever take this away from you. You own it. If someone doesn't pay you or something like that, cool. Find a new client, sell the leads to someone else. Not a problem. So how do you actually go out there with that and get a client. Well, number one, you gotta get started. You gotta go, you gotta build a site out like this one. You gotta get leads coming in. This isn't that hard to do if you pick an easy area. If you pick a hard area, a hard niche, a hard location, it's gonna be hard. But if you pick an easy one, you're not gonna have that hard of a time with it because you can target something that's low competition. If you're not sure how to do that, I will leave a link in the description of this YouTube video for a free workshop on exactly how to do that. It'll walk you through step-by-step. Step. It's free to go and attend that, and I think you'll get a lot of value out of it. So go check that out. With that being said, how do you get a client? Well, this is how I do it. What I do is I take some leads that I generated from my website here and I send them off to someone that I think I wanna work with. So I quite literally go and I find a roofer that's in this area and I say, hey, you know, would you like to buy these leads for me? Now, what I do is I don't sell them right away, I actually let them just try them for free, okay? It's kind of like giving them a free sample. They get to test them out, see how they like them. So you can do this both by email and by phone. Now, I know a lot of you guys would like a way to land a client, especially a lead generation client, by using nothing but email, right? Because no one wants to go and like do cold calls and stuff like that. So I'm gonna give you the exact email template for landing a lead generation client. Are you ready for this? Here is the template. So the subject line is going to be, can you give me a rough estimate on this? 
That's gonna be your subject line. And of course you can go ahead and you can change this around based on what the industry is, but this is the one that works well for a lot of the industries that we're in, which is skilled trades and stuff like that. And then what you're doing is you're giving them some information on the actual lead. Like you might tell them, oh, the square footage of the home is this and it needs a roof replacement. And I would just get this information based on the lead that came in. So if they filled up my form and they said, hey, we need a roof install, I'm going to take that information, I'm gonna email it to someone that I think I want to work with. And I'm gonna say, can you tell me roughly how much this would cost? Now this is gonna do two things. Well, number one, they're gonna go and they're going to say, okay, cool, this, this is someone who's interested in a roof replacement. And it's not me, but it is a real lead that came in from my lead generation website. So it's still honest, it's just not me who needs a quote. They'll come back to me, they'll tell me a price. So I might say like, you know, I can't give you an exact price, but it might be around $10,000 or something like that. This tells me two things. Number one, I know that if the roofing company does their job and closes this client, they're going to get $10,000 from me. And if I were to sell this lead to them, I would be getting $50 in exchange. They would be paying 50 for a thousand or for 10,000. That's like a no brainer deal, right? But what I'm going to do is when they respond that instead, I'm going to reply back to them and I'm going to say, awesome. This is a lead that came in from my website here. Here's their information. Reach out to them and uh, I hope it works out for you. And that's it. I'm going to let them go and get the job hopefully. And then I'm going to follow back up with the roofer and I'm going to say, hey, how did that work out for you? Would you like the rest of my leads? I have X amount coming in every single week. That is exactly all you need to do to close a client. It's really easy. There's no selling involved because you just follow the simple format. Now, this is the, the manual way to do it by email. But if you are smart and you set up call tracking on your website, which you're definitely gonna wanna do because more people are gonna call, right? And they're gonna, they're gonna start calling and, and getting quotes that way. So you definitely wanna set this up in the long run. Now, if you use something like Dialhawk for your call tracking, there is a feature built in it called the whisper feature. It's right here. And what the whisper feature does is it automates exactly what I just showed you. And it does it in a cool way. So basically this will play a message. So I might say this lead was provided to you by Paul, or you could say your name or whatever your company name is. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to forward this tracking phone number. I can do this right under the forwarding tab. I'm not going to set it up, but just, you know, bear with me here. I would forward this phone number right here to that roofer that I think I wanna work with. So instead of emailing them, I'm just forwarding my phone number to them. And now when a customer calls for a roof quote, the roofer is going to pick up the phone, they'll be like, oh hey, this is Bob's Roofing or whatever, and it's gonna say, this lead was provided to you by Paul, okay? And then they're gonna get transferred to the customer. And boom, just like that, they're gonna get the job, they're gonna wonder, hey, who's this Paul guy that's sending me leads? and they're gonna wonder who that is. And then now I can follow back up with them and say, hey, how have you been enjoying the leads? So a software like Dialhawk is going to automate this for you and get you clients without you having to cold email or anything like that, which is awesome. Now, if you're wondering, well, what happens if they call and it's Bob's roofing, but your site is something different? That's a good question. And what we do is we keep our sites very generic. So this site is just called City Name Roofing, Cedarburg Roofing Pros. You know, it's, it could be any roofer in this city. It's not saying that it's a specific roofer. So keep your sites generic and you won't run into any problems there. Now, if you would like more details on how to do this with the call tracking software like Dialhawk, I also have information on that in the free workshop in the description of this video. And I also have a very, very discounted deal on the Dialhawk software as well that you can't get anywhere else. So be sure to check out that link. Now, with that being said, to give you a full recap here, number one, you do not need to get a client to start off with to get started with lead generation. Go out there, start building out your site, follow my workshop to do it, and then get some leads coming in and forward them over to a client, whether it be by email or whether it be using a software like Dialhawk to do it for you. And that is all you need to do. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Let me know that you enjoyed it. Subscribe, take the bell notification icon, and I will notify you next time I launch another video. But until next time, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I am Paul James. Peace out.